reaction to the game well, I mean, in general. You know, clearly we, you know, we aren't playing well. That can that be an understatement? Maybe. Um, we've got some players that are better players than than what we've seen, and so your only choice is to is as coaches, you know, find a way to help. And so what I'm thinking is, we got to go watch video. We got to go. Okay, what can we give them that that can help them? And stick with it, right? You know, it's 36-game season. Um, probably a little rougher than what we thought it would be uh, offensively. So we got to figure it out. And uh, was Syl struggling with something? She get hit in the face. Yeah, early in the game. Um, I don't. I don't think that. I don't think that. I mean, while it hurt her, I don't think that impacted um, the game for her. You basically went with a lineup with four reserves and Jess in the fourth quarter yeah. and got some ball movement, some reversal of the ball, yeah. and got some things going. You got within eight with, I think, 146 left. Yeah. And Achanwa got hurt. Um, did you consider putting Sill back in for a final push, or what was your thinking? Not at all, because um, we fouled. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, we fouled the three-baller. Um, and so eight, 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 but not, you know, not with the ball type of thing. Um and it, it just, um, you know, chasing a game like that isn't fair to Sill. Um, that, that group that played with some energy and some life, um, same thing we saw in the preseason game. You know, it's reserves that are doing it. And, uh, yeah, we got to, you know, we got to look at everything right now. Coach, you mentioned kind of, you know, going, watching film and um, – that it's still early in the season and whatnot, but mm -hmm. when you're going to look at that film, yeah, what goes into the decision between okay, we need to make, you know, this change, or you know, how much is it is just sticking with the plan and just yeah. kind of writing it out, and how much of it is like making changes? Early yeah, it's a good question, you know, because it, like you said, but I, you know, as as we share with them, I sure would like for them to try to do what they're being asked to do before we go and change anything because it's hard to know. Um, and they're just, you know, right now they're, you know, when we're together and we're practicing and we're prepping and they're, they're saying, you know, all the right things and frankly doing all the right things. Uh, and then we get into the game and it's not happening. And, um, you know, just basics, some really basic things. And, you know, I, I just want to make sure that we are um, playing um, with a pace and with a passion you know, that we're seeing that's only part of the game. And it's hard to win in this league. And it's really hard if you don't bring that level of energy and intensity that it takes to win possessions. I'm not talking about win the game, just win possessions. And we talk about this ad nauseum. And I don't know if it's like, if they think that they're sprinting the floor and we don't sprint either direction. It's not like we go one direction and not the other. We don't either direction. Um, and it's so, you know, you just keep showing video keep asking them to, you know, to do the things that, you know, that it takes to be successful um, and whether, you know, whether the, the challenges, um, I don't think any of us thought that the beginning of the season was, was going to be easy in, in any stretch, but um, you know, like this, this is, we got to make sure that, um, you know, when you hit difficult times, we don't want to be a team that falls apart and starts blaming and, and that sort of thing. Cause that can happen really quickly. And, and the chemistry is really false when that happens. The chemistry has got to be real. And I think it is. Um, I, I like the way um, internally it doesn't feel very good. You know, your home opener, haven't seen our fans in a while. It doesn't feel very good. And so I know how they're, they're feeling. And, and so I think in terms of um, how they handled that and staying together, what they were saying in timeouts, that sort of thing that's a good, we're in a good place. Um, at some point it's got to turn. And my next question was going to be about that chemistry that you alluded to, you know, yep. Sims was here before, but the team is different than when she was here yeah. the first time. And um, Angel, obviously her first game in over a year with a new team, mm -hmm. um, Milich coming over from Europe. Do you think, um, you know, maybe some of the struggles are still the players getting used to kind of how everybody yeah. plays and kind of. How yeah, they I mean, there's the no question about it. You know, add Von Turner to that, you know, no question about it. Um, and that's, you know, that's not the, you know, where we say that's the reason, you know, I, I don't like the excuse thing at all. I mean, I think that, 
you know, does it pose challenges when you're playing against a Seattle team or a Washington team that, you know, has, has a little more um, rooted in their system and, and the people that are doing it. Um, you know, and we have to look at how we can, we can simplify and, and find some success, like I said, help them. And, and, you know, still is getting a lot of attention and, you know, we're still trying to throw it into her type of thing. And, and we just have to learn how to play, uh, and, you know, behind Sill. Like, it doesn't have to go into Sill like that every time. It makes it really hard for her. Um, we can use Sill. And, and her ability to attract attention is a bonus for other players. And, um, you know, obviously our front line was pretty good. I mean, Jess and, and Jess and Sill um, were pretty good. You know, Jess has been a bright spot for us um, early, early in the season here. Um, first and foremost, do you have, do you have an update on, on Natalie and what happened I to don't. her there at the end of the game? I didn't even, I didn't see it. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Um, and then what, what did you see from Angel in, in her first, you know, live regular season action? Uh, Same tonight? thing you saw. And then last one for me, um, you know, what did you like and what didn't you like about the guard play and then how would you kind of compare and contrast the first half and the second yeah. half? I, I don't, you know, it depends on who you count as guards. Um, so you want to say perimeter perimeter. I think that we're still not quite understanding what our gifts are and how to use them. Um, inefficient shots, hard shots, you know, Odyssey's, you know, a player that through her career gets into the paint and, um, she's trying to do difficult things right now that leads to a great deal of inefficiency and how do you get in there and not take a bad shot and maybe use that much the way Washington did, but you collapse the defense because we're open on the perimeter. We're open on the perimeter. They're not guarding us on the perimeter. And that's also some of the challenges, right? You know, we've got, we got to have shot makers, you know, when Von Turner's like, you know, your, your three point shot taker, that's not, not great for us. Um, no offense to Vani, but that's not how she's made her living. So um, I, I think our guard plays, we, you know, we have some ball stopping with guard play. We have inefficient reads, you know, in terms of what shot or pass. And that's where I say we just got to I mean, watch a ton of video from the from the Seattle game going into this game. And obviously games are different. Teams are different. Um, but I think we got rocked where Washington was a well oiled machine playing with great pace. And so um, not getting our stops. We got more stops, obviously, later in the game, which, you know, gives you some momentum. But, um, you know, we, we've got, you know, we've got a team that runs through their stuff hard. And we don't exactly run through our stuff hard. Um, you know, it's that go through the motion thing. Okay, here's the play. And this is where I'm supposed to go. And there isn't a level of, you know, setting it up, uh, sprinting hard somewhere. If I'm coming off a ball screen, how I come off the ball screen. So it's, you know, if my job was to roll, if my job was to fill behind, my job was to pay, you know, make one more, just the, the level of passion that we're, that we're doing it. It's not consistent enough to be able to win possessions. And then um, we, we saw still start to get the ball a little further away from the basket in the second half. Is that something that you look to do just with the struggles of getting the no, ball into her deep? That was just still. So it was, I think, maybe trying to create maybe some lanes for them to to get to the basket, but that wasn't anything by design that we were we were getting to in timeouts or anything. All right, we have one on the Zoom. Howard, go ahead. Hey, Cheryl, thanks for the time. Uh, you know, obviously, there's been a lot of conversation preseason through the first two games about point guard, uh, but you look at something like uh, Jess coming up with four assists. You know, this is a team that last year Fee was second on the team in assists and has made use of a lot of, you know, let's say non-traditional, non-point guard playmakers. And I just, I just wonder whether there is a path, whether you think there is a path, especially given the personnel on this team, uh, to a more efficient offense, as you talked about, uh, going that route, you know, essentially uh, with everyone thrown in. You're talking about using Jess? Not just Jess, but just in general, you, you know, your wins and, you know, uh, using two through four to be able to uh, facilitate the offense, not just not just your traditional ones. Yeah, um, I think, you know, it's, it's sort of it's, it's not intentional that we wouldn't use um, two and three, um, you know, to, to pass. If you look at who we have out there, I mean, so to start the game, um, you know, AP is. You know, probably passing isn't her first thing. 
Um, Angel is a good passer. I thought recognized, you know, who needs to have the ball. Uh, I thought she made some some good passes. So it's not necessarily by design. As a matter of fact, I mean, you know, we have, you know, we have wing players, wing actions that were, you know, we come off of screens that still sets and and to make the read to be able to throw it in. So it's not by design that we're we're trying not to use those guys. Um, so I don't know if that answers or not, but um, you know, we kind of and, and we put a premium on passing, believe it or not, when we were making choices of, um, you know, who's on this team and and uh, you know, I I don't know if that's a huge problem as it is, is just putting the ball in the hole at those two positions, you know, um, when you don't have a clear big three, life is really hard. Life is really hard. And, and that, you know, we, as we know, we have, we have Syl, uh, AP is supposed to be a part of a big three. And so if she's part of the big three, which I don't think we have, I think we have a two, we have two players it's supposed to be AP and Syl, and Sills getting it done, but we're not getting any help. We're not getting any help. And and uh, AP's just got to stick with it. And and she's got to she's got to learn what she can and can't do. And, and it's the difficult stuff that we're just trying to avoid avoid doing. Appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks, Thanks. everybody.